In this InDesign video, we're going to take a look at the combo box. So creating a combo box for a PDF interactive form. So a combo box looks like this here. This is actually an Acrobat, but it's basically, it's a, kind of like a select field. It comes with a drop down button and you are able to make a selection. Like, like a radio button group though, it only allows you to make a single selection. You cannot go in there and select more than one. Every time you select one, it basically eliminates the prior one. So let's go ahead and take a look here at how to make this. So this is what it's going to take to make it here. We have a uh, label. We've got our frame, that's the combo box, and an actual frame here. Okay, so to create it, you would just take uh, an existing frame design that you have, and you can go ahead and actually create a, a new, so that's a rectangle. This is an actual frame inside of it. And go ahead and drop it right in the middle there. And what you're going to want to do is open up your buttons interface. Uh, if your layout doesn't look like mine in InDesign, you can match it by going to Windows Workspace and select Advance. Windows Workspace Advance. Now, what I want it to, is to open up the Window Interactive and then Buttons and Forms here. Okay, so you see it should pop right up. Mine was actually checked. It was actually open, but it's open in a different screen. So let me drag it back in. This is what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is use the Select tool. And I'm going to select the actual frame I want, and I'm going to select from the type of drop down here, combo box. Okay, and then the uh, combo box with the little drop down arrow shows up. Uh, you do want the combo box to have its own unique name, so it's, I'm going to label this uh, combo box. So that way I know it's always a combo box and then fruit, right? Because we're going to select fruit. I don't need an event in this case here, this is just a basic tutorial. It is going to be a printable box here, and then down here at the bottom, this is where we're going to add our choices. So you could start by adding choose one, uh, for example, as the main selection. You do have a, a problem there, though, that they can actually select the choose one option. Um, so that's uh, not really the best. You might in instead choose to use a label that says choose one, for example. And we'll go ahead and drop in some fruit inside of here. So apples, and you just click the plus sign. Uh, oranges, plus sign, uh, let's do grapes, and plums, how about that? Okay, now if you do want to select one and you want to rearrange it, you can just click and drag to rearrange them here. You can also select one and click the minus sign to remove it. Uh, and that way that removes that one because that becomes a selectable object there. And we are good to go. Okay, so these are all set now. They're connected to the combo fruit box here. So what I would recommend is instead of uh, your label saying combo box here, I'm just going to uh, select both of these and move them down a little bit. Let's select that title here and move this down. And let's go ahead and reduce it just a little bit. It's a little tall there. Now you notice here I, have, I accidentally double clicked and I got the direct select tool. So I was actually changing the the Bezier points. So instead here, I'm going to say uh, choose one fruit. That's a better label. Okay, and then all we got to do now is do file save. Okay, to save it or save as if you haven't saved it, and then click export. When I click export here, it's this is the title here. Make sure you have Adobe Interactive, Adobe PDF Interactive selected, and you, the correct uh, directory. Go ahead and save it. It's going to throw an error. It's going to say it's already open because I did leave it open inside of here. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one off. Don't need to save my changes. And let's try that again. This time I'm going to use Control E, just the shortcut for uh, export and save. I'm going to overwrite the previous version. And then on your export screen, make sure that you do have cre create tagged PDF selected down here. All the other defaults are going to be fine as is. So click export. In my case, it'll open up in uh, Acrobat Reader, and the page I was working on is right down uh, page two here. I went right past it. So there you go. Okay, so in this case here, we have combo box. We've got apples here, in, our, in this case, oranges, plums. Okay, but notice there is no way to deselect any of these. You can uh, try, but it's not going to let you. You've got to select one there. So last thing is when you when I open this, you notice that it did. In fact, I'll just uh, close it um, and let's open it back up here. You notice that it comes pre-selected. This one did not. This one you had to go in there and actually select one. This one came in pre-selected with apples. And I just want to finish off by showing you why. So if I select this particular uh, choose one 
combo fruit box here, you notice that I left the apple highlighted here in my select fields, okay? So you do, if you leave one selected, it is going to make it the default, okay? So what you wanna do is click off of there. It's not gonna let you, you gotta control click on it to deselect it. Now if you save it and then re-export it, uh, it will now come in. Go ahead and close this one. That's control S and control E. We'll resave it and export it out. And you will see this time, same settings that when it opens up, uh, we scroll down to it, now it's completely blank, and now you can make your selection. Again, this uh, combo box requires a selection. Once you make one, you cannot deselect it. If you'd like to have more than one option, what you want is a list box, not a combo box, and watch the list box tutorial.